Hey guys, day in the life. Um, I decided I wanted to do a newer updated day in the life, which is going to be not only my regular life, but also what I do for my coaching business. I did make a video about two years ago. It was off the cuff. It was just something I did that day. I didn't even share all of my job duties and I really do believe in being authentic and just going with the flow. Um, and I just felt like it was time to redo it and just do like a newer version. Um, there's prob I'm not perfect. I'm probably gonna forget stuff because I'm not a scripted actor. I'm living a life. I'm a single mom of two. And uh, you know, I'm just doing my best here. I run an at-home health and fitness business that is online. And I raise my kids. I work out from home. I go to the gym, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna share you like, share with you a snippet of what my life looks like, at least today. Um, and so I got up, made coffee, made some waffles. We are in the middle of making more right now. Okay, baby girl, I'll get you some more. So, just some paleo waffles for Violet. And I just rip it up for her. There's a little bit of butter. We don't do it perfect, but she likes it. She's got some teeth. She can chow down. And then, Fisher's is almost ready. Here you go. You gotta sit up when you eat though. These are the waffles that we are using. They're pumpkin spice. They were on sale because pumpkin spice is not as cool in the spring. I'm trying to do a no phone when I'm around them, but I did, however, end up opening my DMs and answering a few uh, people's messages about a question that I asked yesterday. Um, but I'm gonna get my son off to school and then me and Violet are gonna go to the gym where she is going to do like the kids daycare. I'm gonna work out. I do my, I'm doing an at home bar program right now, but um, in the morning it's too much to do it and take care of them. So I can have her at the gym for up to two hours. But what I try to do is do an hour and a half, 30 minutes of my bar program and then an hour that gives me another hour to uh, work out using like weights, using the machines, whatever I wanna do. I'm gonna make my protein blended coffee. I'll share with you guys what that looks like because I've been really liking it. For this coffee, you need coffee, which I already brewed. And you could use any chocolate protein powder, but I am using our Recover, our plant-based Recover. It's technically for after workout because it has BCAAs that help repair muscle uh, fatigue and soreness and all that, but there's nothing, like you can't not have it before a workout. And yeah, so we're gonna use that, a scoop of that. And then one teaspoon of unrefined coconut oil and one teaspoon of I prefer the unsalted, but I accidentally grabbed the salted. It's not that big of a difference, but I love grass-fed butter. Tastes like chocolatey coffee deliciousness. So we have to get ready to go in a minute, um, but uh, my focus with online coaching is definitely helping my customers every single day. Um, I'm usually message messaging them through the day, checking in with our virtual uh, group where we all share our accountability, including me. Um, but Thursdays, which is today, is a special day. We recognize our coaches for achievements, helping people, uh, ranking, you know, different things in the company, like basically moving forward in their business. So. Um, it comes out on Thursday, so normally on Wednesday night I will prep some of that recognition on my phone. I use Canva, so I'll just be laying in bed, you know, with her after I get her to go to sleep. We're still co-sleeping, I don't want to talk about it. Um, and I will prep some of it, and then Thursday morning I have to double check to see if the numbers are the same. Um, it's my priority in the morning. Normally I'm not trying to do work and get the kids out the door, but I really love recognizing my team for what they do. They get excited about it. They like seeing their name on the board. They like seeing that they're being recognized. We all don't get recognized enough in our day to day. So I'll show you what I'm doing really quick. So I'm updating this, and I need to add a couple other things to it, but. I like to have fun with this stuff. This is just Canva. You can like overlay, make your own designs. You can do it on your phone too. So 
These are some coaches that are in my organization that I'm gonna recognize today and before we hit the before we get out the door. So yeah, I just want to get that done before we go out the door. All right, so I posted that in my team page and shouted out um, everyone that needed to be shouted out so far this month. So part of um, helping my customers through the day is I run multiple Facebook groups. I will communicate out on other platforms, but I have this one, which is taking care of business ultimate reset. So this is like our group that is primarily focused on our three week detox cleanse. I also manage lots of our coaching pages, but taking care of business health and fitness is my main one. Um, and there are, I'm not going to show you guys too much, uh, just to protect people. But I, what does it say? How many people are in this group? We've got 328 people in here right now. Um, but yeah, this is where we just share like our daily accountability. This is like the new challenge. I pinned it to the top that I'm going to be talking about. Um, so and I just share recipes in here and I share like go live, share and people talk about their journeys. I just wanted to show that. So that's something that I'm uh, updating and communicating with uh, on my phone, but um, every night I make sure to check in and try to comment and support everybody in here because this is like our ongoing um, community. Well, my battery's gonna die <laughs> and I still wanted to film more, so we'll see what happens if I can get home and charge it. Uh, so we just were at the gym. Violet is in this stage where she just wants to be held and so when someone's holding her in the daycare she's fine but you know I took about a little over an hour and when I came back she was crying so we're just hanging out in the car she's drinking her bottle and uh so I ended up doing like a couple leg moves I didn't want to film in there because they have a no camera policy and you know if I had like a friend to film me but you know, I'm just focused on my workout. So I did my bar cardio workout in the extra like room they have for classes and it was really good. I just think the home workouts are great because I can do them no matter what with kids, you no know, late at night, early morning, like whenever I want. But the thing is, just with her being as needy as she is, I love to focus completely 100% on my workout. So because I don't have anyone at home to really help me, I love spending that time on myself. It's just 30 to 35 minutes in, you know, gym, at home, whatever. Um, and it's just such a like important time for me to move, to sweat, to get those endorphins. So just super grateful for the ability to move my body and sweat. And I just think that that's just such a gift that we can give ourselves. So I'm just feeling all the good vibes right now because I worked out. Uh, so yeah, she's probably going to take a nap. So what I'm going to do while she passes out in the car is, um, reply to messages. So I have a bunch of current customers that are either currently doing a challenge with me or maybe going to join my next one because I'm doing one in a couple weeks that's booty focused. So I have a bunch of emails yeah. I need to get back to from prospects, yeah. like people that want to join. Yeah, yeah. And I have um, a bunch of current customers that want to do it. And so basically um, from my phone, I'm just going to go in and answer questions. I know I had some current customers asking me about like modifications and then I'm going to touch base with some of my coaches um, just little things like about their business because I have like a bird's eye view over my whole organization so uh, I will be doing that from my phone while she naps and then um, at some point I have to get back to all those emails so that's kind of a collaboration or that's kind of like a combination of uh, touching base with my current customers, supporting them in a new challenge that we have. Because once you work with me, you're, you're always my customer. So challenges are going to continue. Like we do one challenge, we get results, and then that's how life is. You don't just do one thing and stop. So that's like, I'm always trying to think of like creative things, you know, we can do. So, um, yeah, this time it's like a booty thing. So, you know, it's a, are you okay? What's wrong? Drink your bubba. It's okay. Um, so I'm always... Yeah, so basically it's a combination of touching base with my current customers, getting new people um, on board and helping my coaches because my coaches are also my customers. You know, they're still doing their workouts and nutrition and stuff. So um, a lot of my job being a mentor and a coach is just touching base with these people and um, ongoing support that is hard to show right now because it's happening on my phone. It's happening in my inbox. Um, it's happening in, you know, Instagram. It's happening all the time. Um, I'm also creating free content, free value. You know, 
I'm always sharing recipes, trying to think of things I can do. So I'm going to do a post in a second too, because I took a picture in there. Um, and I'm just going to talk about kind of what I just said to you guys about how uh, exercise is just such a gift. And especially as a mom, when you're giving, giving, giving. Um, it's just such a nice thing you can do for yourself. My arm is tired right now from holding this up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I know it's a lot of words, like, you know, a lot of, I want to show what I do, but a lot of it is hard to show. And I just want to explain that because I think sometimes people are like, well, what do you do? <laughs> and it's like, I support people. I support people all the time, you know, like in all the forms and it helps support me. Okay. Okay, so we're about to leave um, the gym, but I wanted to show my snacks. So I have this uh, vegan jerky. I picked this up when I went to the coast. Um, they had a bunch of jerky and they had this vegan dream uh, jerky and it has 14 grams of protein, which is pretty freaking cool. Have, it's made from wheat gluten. And then I have an apple. So those are my snacks. And then I wanted to show you guys a little bit of just like some work stuff. Um, so I run a I have a weekly team call with uh, my upline coach and so she made the flyer and then we're talking about how she might miss it because her and her baby are sick. So I gave her the link for our Zoom call. I got to post that in our team page. That's just an example of like one thing I'm talking about. My um, good friend Lawea is also a coach and we were talking about her um, husband, just stuff with her, their business. Um, and so yeah, that's going on. And then if you go into my, I usually prefer to do... Um, I usually prefer to talk to my team through this. So like today, one of my coaches got a gift that I sent her, um, and I had Amazon send it cause it was uh, in Canada and it's cheaper to have Amazon send it. And then one of my other coaches were just talking about like her organization. I have like a push group going on with all these girls in my downline that are also pushing, um, for like big stuff in their business. So yeah, I basically just use my, um, chat to talk and I'm talking to like, one of my customers sent me a, a discount for act, uh, Athleta, Athleta. Yeah, so, you know, just cool stuff. I have my new coach thread where I, like, kind of give them pointers, just, like, mentoring them, trying to, like, help them, give them assignments, things to do to get their business off the ground. Um, and then in my Instagram right now, a lot of stuff. There's my coach, Jacqueline. Um, a lot of stuff going on right now is talking about kids and screen time. Oops. So yesterday I did a post about um, screen time because I'm dealing this, with this with my 10-year-old video games. He's obsessed. So I talked about it in my stories, and I got, like, so many great suggestions and DMs from people. Um, and so I even saved a few and then I just went on my stories to also share about my, what takeaways I got because the stuff that I learned from my, you know, cus customers and just followers, um, I learned so much stuff from you guys. So like I went in and, um, kind of just shared what I, my takeaways and stuff. So that's what I was doing in the car. Also part of the business. And I'm hoping Violet will fall asleep so I can do this a little bit more and bless you do my post um, Just because I, I don't just hang out in my car all day But <laughs> if she falls asleep, I will let her stay asleep and eat my snack and then we do need to go grocery shopping bad So hopefully my phone won't die and I can take you guys along with me to show you my grocery shopping list what I'm doing this week and don't forget toilet paper. I swear to God we don't live in the car so um, the plan was that she was gonna nap, I was gonna do some work from my phone, and then I was gonna go grocery shopping. Um, I have to pick up my son by 3.15 so we can go straight to swimming. Um, but today, once a month, I have a cleaner, it's actually two women come clean my apartment um, for like a deep clean, and it's the best thing ever. Um, not that I am so rich that I need to have a housekeeper, but I am a big fan of delegating and I'll show you guys later what it looks like. It's just so nice to have someone else clean your place. So anyways, I had to, basically I let her sleep for almost two hours, decided to do online grocery shopping instead. Speaking of delegating, I used Instacart and I feel like it's worth the like $3.99 delivery fee. You can sign up for a membership, but I think it's worth the eight bucks total or whatever I'm gonna spend to have it delivered to my house later. Do you want that or do you want this? Do you want some beach bar? Um, so, I had to change really quick. We ordered the groceries online. They're gonna be delivered later. I ran inside to change, change her diaper. I changed into um, like swim stuff underneath my little dress here. And then we're eating snacks. And then I made 
a tuna salad. So I just took tuna, added a little bit of uh, veganaise, which I love, a little bit of mustard. I was trying to chop up some pickles, but I was struggling. And then just salad mix, like romaine, Italian salad mix, and then some cherry tomatoes. So I'm gonna shake that up and eat it, see if she wants a bite, and then go get my son. Um, but she's gonna have some snacks too. Having to go transport kids around. Um, definitely didn't plan on eating this late. My lunch, it's almost like three o'clock, but I had the snacks on me and um, I survived. The main thing, I wish I would have had water. And I kept thinking she was gonna wake up. We were actually parked near a Safeway and then she just kept sleeping and I'd rather her just get good sleep and I was able to just catch up on all my emails and stuff. So. Just rolling. This is, you know, being an entrepreneur, businesswoman with a baby. <laughs> this is what I got to do. Because the goal is uh, that when I pick up my kids, I'm normally going to be done for the day after 3 o'clock. Today I do have my team call. So I'll probably share a little bit more and um, finish filming this video. So, you know, if she sleeps for two hours and I can get a ton of work done, I'm going to do it. Because that means that I don't have to do it later. And I can just hang out with my, my kiddos. Do you want some of that? So just very simple. My salad was like on the verge. My tomatoes are on the verge. This is sad. This is why I need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> but it'll keep me full. Ah, all my tuna's on the bottom. But it'll keep me full and held over until after swimming, until after the call and I can make dinner. Okay, we got our grocery delivery and I just pulled it out so Violet had something to do. And it is six o'clock and I never had my shake today. Um, and I wanna have dinner still, but it's important for me to not only get this veggie and fruit in, but my daily Shakeology. So we are going to go with, um, let's go strawberry. Strawberry and spinach and banana. So I'm gonna make that. And then we're gonna put these groceries away. And honestly, what sounds good for dinner, I'm still short some of my carbs for the day. So I think I might make a bagel sandwich. Okay, well that is a day in the life of my life. Um, finished the call at 6.20, made the kids dinner. Um, finishing my shake and I already prepped my like, last meal. I'm gonna have dinner like shortly after my shake, but it works. going to unplug for the rest of the night to be with my kids um yeah so thanks for watching hopefully hopefully you guys liked watching my crazy <laughs> busy life and um seeing what i eat and just like a little snippet into my day and like what i do um for work and how i'm able to support my kids um as a single mom goodbye bye <laughs> Bye.